When talking about climate change, it's easy to get lost in the politics and statistics. But meteorologist Reynolds Wolf found a story about how climate change is affecting fishing. All right. Fantastic. Fishing is good in the Florida Keys. In fact, it's some of the best in the world. It's a way of life for guys like Augie Wampler and Richard Stanzik. Between them, they've been guiding clients on these waters for more than 80 years. The weather is so different every day for us. There's a hundred different factors that you got to put into the equation on what you're going to do that day based on the weather. In the last few years, one of those factors has become climate change and a shift in the Gulf current. The current has slowed down in the past 10 years that I can see. There, you know, it used to be that there, the current was really, that, that Gulf Stream was really moving. It seems to me like in the last few years that current has slowed down a little bit. The Gulf Stream is part of a larger oceanic circulation and that circulation is slowing down a bit because of fresh water that is being put into the ocean from melting ice in the northern latitudes. Guides like Richard have to monitor these changes and their impacts on the fish. Water temperature can impact them, wind direction can impact them, time of the year and cold water obviously. But a drastic change in the current could lead to much bigger impacts. And when the Gulf Stream slows down, what that does is it alters the upper level wind pattern such that if it really slows down, which may happen in the distant future, it is possible that we'll see much colder weather, not only in Europe, but possibly in the northeastern U.S. In Isla Mirada, Florida, Reynolds Wolf, The Weather Channel. The fishermen in that story are stars of our new hit show, Real Rivals, airing Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on The Weather Channel. I'm Matt Sampson with Weather.com.